Yo, 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 yo. What's good, everybody, man? This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. I'd like to give a shout out to all the barbecue, barbecuers and barbecuettes. Um, let's get this started, y'all. Um, I was doing the 4,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I'm a little bit more than that now. But anyway, I was doing the 4,000 subscriber giveaway. And uh, actually, I decided to uh, give away one of these. I got a couple of these laying around the house. And uh, a lot of people, thanks for y'all that uh, uh, tried to guess how much this actually was. Let me give you a close up. One kilogram, right? That equates to about 2.20 uh, pounds. So a lot of people off, some people almost spot on. But uh, two people, ironically, or the first two, um, I know I said one, but I decided I'm gonna go ahead and give two of these away. Uh, so to my boy John and Matthew, uh, congrats, man. Putting these in the mail on Monday morning. I know I told one of you, uh, I believe it was Matthew, that I'm gonna, no, John, I believe. I said I'm gonna send this out on Saturday, but I wanted to show them too. So John, Matthew, these be in the mail on Monday. As soon as I get to work, I'll walk over to the post office and send them on their way. Uh, I bet you're wondering why I got this in the background. So we was talking about my cracked chicken, right? And uh, I had some people taste it, and uh, uh, truth be told, they told me never give away, give away your secret recipe. It's not necessarily mine, but I found a blend of seasonings that go well together and what forms cracked chicken. So if you're in the business of cooking a lot of chicken, a lot of food, um, Trying to make your own seasoning is just not a cost effective. I mean, like, you can buy all the stuff you need, all the blends you use to make whatever seasoning you make, and it still won't come out to be cheaper than this. Yeah, you have a ton of it, but the key is to keep freshness, right? I try to keep it in the freezer to keep freshness, but these things right here, not just this, but anything in particular, when it's sealed, it stays fresh. And I, of course, say, um, I don't know if I cook enough to just be making seasoning. I do have my own seasoning um, that I might put out there. But, uh, yeah, I found two magic ingredients. Not going to give you the other one. I'm, I'm going to let you see it, though. But, like I said, this is one of them. This right here, by itself, for my, for my people out there in San Diego, um, shout out to y'all who, who showed me this, Escondido area. Um, this by itself is probably a 75% solution. Very rare you find one seasoning, seasoning that is just on point. This is about 75% there. Um, so me, just me and me, and I'm just starting mixing stuff because I was cooking different batches of, of, of chicken all the time. And you know, I always test stuff. And uh, you see a lot of stuff just sitting around the house and you don't want it to go bad, so you start mixing. And lo and behold, I mixed this stuff and uh, introduced cracked chicken to my life, right? Or to everybody else's life. I'm going to show you Give you a close-up of it, of the blends that's in there. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think that is. Uh, I'm actually about to pour it in here just for some chicken. Give y'all a close-up so y'all can see it as it drops in there. A lot of different things in there, y'all. They in one item, in one thing, kind of like this. But I ain't gonna tell you what it is because then you'll be in a stolen recipe and then you'll be making all the money. Nah, I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, but serious though, on a serious note, yeah, that's the one thing uh, family told me, don't give away your secret, man, your secret to success. I give you all the hints around it. Uh, I'm not standing with that type of stuff, but the one thing I'm probably not going to do now since they convinced me is just to give away the one thing that you call your own. So a mixture of multiple things, I guess it's mine now, whatever. I'm not selling it, so no, don't come after me or... Uh, Chief Mariotto, I'm not selling it, so don't worry about that. And don't come after me, whoever else know this yo dog on the uh, other season. I'm not selling it. I just put it on chicken, and uh, I allow people to eat the chicken. But anyway, um, that's all I want to talk to y'all about today. I'm about to uh, fire up the grill, cook up some chicken wings with my secret uh, seasoning. Um, I'll show y'all that. So stay tuned for the next video that comes out. Um, I'm probably going live again. Hmm. Maybe in a week or two. So uh, I'll send out a notice so uh, people have an advance notice so that they don't miss me uh, when I do it on Sunday. I probably try to do it like on Saturday or something. Um, but either way, it'll be like a calendar invite so you know ahead of time instead of me just just hitting go and then I'm live and then people missing the show. But uh, just because I want to answer a lot of people's questions, 
to save you from typing and save me from typing because I try to answer everybody's question. So without further ado, like I said, shout out to my boy uh, John and Chris. I mean John and Matthew. Sorry about that. Um, for winning these, these will be in the mail, like I said, on Monday. Um, about to cook up some chicken wings for the job. Two bags. Actually, I'll show you real quick. I want y'all to think I'd be joking. That's one of them right there. About to season it up. Put it on the, uh, my, uh, my, uh, uh, man, I got so many grills. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Um, the Kamado. I'm about to do the Kamado. So if you're interested in how to cook chicken wings on a Kamado, stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned for the next video. And you'll see my steps through that process. So bear with me. Like I said, I'm about to go handle business and watch these, these, uh, uh, who's playing today? Toronto, watch them play. Uh, Cause my team, Orlando Magic, if you don't know, I already got exited. But uh, I still like the NBA playoffs. So like I said, comment below if you got any questions. Like I said, they were the first two, so I decided just to give away two. So um, that being said, um, I'm probably just gonna do a random giveaway again. Um, no specific number, I'll probably do one in the near future. Um, that's just me. Um, oh, let's talk about this real quick. So I was looking on, online and uh, in one of the the, the, Kep, the Kettle uh, fan groups, because I'm in one of those two on uh, Facebook, and somebody mentioned who's your favorite or the person that you go to to get instructions on how to cook barbecue. So keep in mind, the majority of the people that watch these shows are not barbecuers. They're what we call backyard barbecuers, right? So a lot of people said, uh, no, no, and, and no shade on uh, people like Aaron Franklin, Myron Mixon, things of that nature. But I'm gonna be truthful and honest to you, man. Like, think about it. If you cook it for the family, right, and you know that the people you watch don't necessarily cook, like, for their family, why would you go out and buy their stuff? Why would you think that their food tastes that good? Remember now, the key is, um, the key is to watch somebody that actually does this for people in general. So for instance, uh, Aaron Franklin, man, uh, like I said, man, dude's awesome, man. Uh, I've seen a long line at this place. Um, but Aaron, if you're gonna show people how to cook, show them how to cook at your restaurant. Don't show them on TV when, you, when you're giving hints on different foods and stuff like that because ironically, You've been in shows too. And everybody knows the one bite challenge is exactly just that, the one bite challenge. That's totally different from cooking in the backyard because that one bite is all it's about. Um, Byron Mixon, same thing. The hints you've given out, um, ate, at, ate at a restaurant or two of yours, food tastes totally different from what you put out. So like I said, like people when they listen to people of that caliber, I'm talking about pristine, like killing the game and stuff like that. And I'm not telling you listen to me. I'm just saying, when you listen to somebody or you're trying to learn something from somebody, they give off awesome tips. But understand the final product that they're talking about is for competition, not for the backyard. You feed 40 people or things of that nature. So just be thoughtful of that. Be mindful of that. When you buy all these products, I'm not saying anybody's product. I'm just in, in general. When you're buying all these ingredients, when you're trying to make up your own concoction and people tell you that, that it's not tailored toward that, what I mean by the backyard. So just listen to people and give the people that aren't as big uh, some of your attention. So just think about that for a minute, man. If you're trying to be in a competition, them the guys I listen to if you're trying to win because Kansas City, Texas, the Carolinas, Florida, Georgia area, judges taste differently, right? So they are smart, they cook to the judges. Sweetness, Florida, the tanginess, you know, the, uh, uh, the Texas crutch, and then Kansas City has a, a, a name of its own. I think the Carolinas do mustardy taste. So when you're trying to cook, you got to think about those things. If you didn't know already. So do your research. Don't just assume that I'm just talking to you. Watch the judges on these, these pit walls and stuff like that. And when they talk about different flavors, and they spot on with what they're talking about, but they talk about for competition, not cooking in the backyard. Two totally different tastes. So uh, me personally, I love Myron Mixon and Aaron them. Uh, Big Mo, I watch all of them. But understand that I know when I'm watching them, I'm watching them to learn something for competition, not for actually cooking in the backyard. Um, when they do talk about things of how you use your knives and stuff like that, that's spot on. But when you're talking about taste, nah. Flavor profile, that's flavor profile for the judge. That one bite. 
So keep that in mind, y'all. You got any questions, man, comments, concerns, uh, let me know. Myra, hit me up. Uh, Aaron, hit me up, man. You know, uh, Big Mo, I love to talk to y'all, man, just, just so I can learn something. Because y'all got all the championship, all the caliber. Me, I'm just a nobody to cook in the backyard. So uh, y'all hit me up, man. Like I said, no shade on them guys because I love them. I watch them every day. They on my TiVo, uh, my recording. I watch them all the time, but it's not to learn pretty anything in the backyard. It's more of a how to, how to build a technique, you know, how, how to make sure your box is prepared, right? Doing the chicken thighs, uh, the different things you do when you're at a competition, not so much what you do in the backyard. So I don't know who has a barbecue show like that, um, ordinary barbecue, but if you got one out there, if you know somebody, let me know so I can watch them too, so I can learn something for back there. Anyway, this your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Show a love to everybody. This is your boy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos. Check my website out. I let your boy.